In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Spotify and all things music on the brand new Garmin Venu SQ up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of tech reviews, tutorials and more and that also includes smartwatches. Today we are talking about music on the Garmin Venu SQ and I'm going to be going through everything including Spotify, Deezer, Amazon Music and even the ability to download music directly to the watch. So because this is an extensive uh, talk all about all things music on this smartwatch, this is a kind of lengthy video and I've left timestamps down in the description below so you can jump to specific topics or specific music services that you want to hear most about. But I am all for you guys watching this entire video because there's a lot of great information in it. So some of the things that have really impressed me about this smartwatch compared to other smartwatches like the brand new Fitbit Versa 3 and Fitbit Sense, which I've also recently done reviews on and there'll be links down in the description below. You can actually download music to the Garmin Venu SQ. You can leave your phone at home you still can take advantage of the GPS and you can play music directly from your watch without needing your phone. So right off the bat, if you are interested in leaving your phone at home and wanting to directly play music off of this watch, I can successfully say that you can definitely do that using this watch. All the services I'm gonna be talking about, such as Spotify, Deezer, and Amazon Music, you are gonna need subscription paid services to take advantage of all of those features. So if you are planning on using Spotify and you've only got the free version, unfortunately, you're gonna need the paid version in order to link it over to your Garmin device. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. He's our little hidden robot. He's gonna briefly pop up somewhere during this video. If you happen to spot him, take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up and let me know that down in the comments section below along with your best comment. And if you're the first person to do that, you'll get your name and your YouTube channel if you have one featured on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. The watch itself gets up to a six day battery, but that's pretty much if you're just having the thing on and not doing much else with it. If you are planning on consistently listening to music from it, what that's actually gonna do is deplete the battery and Garmin estimates you'll get about eight hours of continuous music playing use out of the battery life of this watch before you're gonna to need to charge it back up. If you're someone like me who likes to go for runs or walks and wants to listen to music, from your watch without using your phone uh, and you plan on using this as well along with the GPS for your run or your walk, that's gonna deplete the battery even more. So if you're using GPS and music all at the same time, you're estimated to get about six hours of battery life before you'll need to recharge. So let's start off with basics using music on the Garmin Venue SQ. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your Garmin Connect app and from the Garmin Connect app, you're gonna to wanna to click on the device account button, which is up top. Once this loads, you'll see that I've got my Venue SQ as my device that's selected. Before you're gonna be able to do anything with music, if you don't currently have headphones and if you don't currently have Wi-Fi connected to your uh, watch, you're gonna to need to do that. And if you scroll down to the bottom of this menu, you will see General. Under general, these are all your different settings. Right up top here, we have Wi-Fi networks. You can go into that, and then there'll be a button that says Add Wi-Fi Network. You can go ahead, find your Wi-Fi network, and add it. Next, what I suggest you do if you haven't added headphones yet to your watch is you're going to want to add headphones. You're going to want to long press this bottom button that's on your watch. This takes you into your different settings, and as you scroll down, you can find the gear icon and click on that. Under the gear icon, if you scroll down in this menu, you want to scroll down until you see music. So under music, you'll have music providers, and then you'll have headphones. Now, if you don't have headphones connected and you try to start playing music, it'll also prompt you for this, but I just like getting it set up ahead of time. So under headphones, you can see I've already got my Roken Surge uh, headphones connected, but if you're going to add new ones, you just go into Add New, and then you'll need to put your headphones into pairing mode. It will find them and then once it finds them it will connect and you'll see something just like what I see here for the Roken Surge connected. 
So now that we have Wi-Fi connected and we have our headphones connected, let's go into music. So let's start off using Spotify. So a couple of things to tell you about Spotify. Uh, what's nice about Garmin's watches compared to other watches I've reviewed, such as the uh, Fitbit Versas and uh, the Fitbit Sense, you can actually download music onto the watch and then play it offline. Uh, and that is a really nice feature to have. Ver you know, On the other watches, you kind of just use Spotify as a controller, and you have to have your phone with you. With Garmin, with this watch, with the built-in GPS, you can put music offline from Spotify on the watch and just go running with the watch, listen to music, which is very convenient. So let's get Spotify set up on your Garmin watch. And Spotify is really nice on the Garmin watches because unlike uh, say the Fitbit products, which I've done reviews on on this channel, um, there's some limitations with Fitbit, whereas when you're using uh, music providers like Spotify, you can only use the watch as a controller. With Garmin's watches, with the uh, Venue SQ, you can actually offline download music onto the watch, leave your phone at home, and still be able to listen to podcasts and music, and I'm going to show you that now. So first we need to get Spotify set up on this device. What I'm going to do is long press this bottom button. That takes me into my settings, and I'm going to scroll down until I see the gear and click on that. From this point, I am going to go uh, down until we see music, and then we are going to click on music. And from this point, we're going to go to music providers. So you will see different providers that are under this menu setting. You're going to want to make sure you have Spotify installed. We are going to click on Spotify, and from this point it says open up Garmin Connect Mobile on your phone to log in. So this brings us to our screen on our phone. Now, in order to get Spotify to work with your uh, Garmin smartwatch, you are going to need to have a premium version of Spotify uh, the paid version. If you're just trying to use the free version, that is not going to work. And that is the same case for all of these different uh, services, the Amazon Music and the Deezer. You will need to have the premium versions of those services. If you are new to these services, they all offer trials. They're either 30 days or 90 days. I would encourage you to try them out. Um, once you sign up for those accounts, you can immediately go to the subscriptions and cancel them so that you don't get charged, but yet you'll still get to use the remaining 30 days of the trial service. So in this case, uh, we've now have uh, Spotify pulled up on my phone. We're going to need to log in to connect my premium Spotify account to the Garmin uh, Connect app. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my Spotify account information. Once I have that information entered, it's gonna ask me to agree to their terms. So I'm gonna click the agree button. And then it has me doing the uh, sign in complete process and return to my Garmin device. So now back on my smartwatch, I'm gonna long press this bottom button again, go into my gears, go back to my music. and then music providers. We're gonna find Spotify. So from this point, I can access my library and it gives me options here where I can add music and podcasts or view settings. Let's add music and podcasts. So under here, I can add music and podcasts from playlists, recently played, made for you, workouts, or the podcasts area. Um, I will tell you guys this from my experience loading music onto this watch. It does take a little bit of time. So if you are going to be like me and load a playlist, the longer your playlist is, the longer it can take to load songs onto your watch. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to use Wi-Fi to download music to the watch. And depending on your Wi-Fi speed, depending on... Um, where you're located sometimes this can take a little bit longer uh, than other times so i would suggest if you are planning on downloading music to listen to and then going for a walk or a run give yourself some time ahead of time to let the music download even up to maybe an hour before or two hours before you're going for that walk or run depending on the length of music that you are planning on downloading so if we go into playlists these are playlists that I have put together, 
And just to show you an example, I put together a fall 2020 list with five tracks, and I'm going to go ahead and add it by just clicking on it. It's then going to search for my Wi-Fi networks, and it's going to download this music onto the watch, and we will fast forward here as this does this. So with my music sync complete, I come back to my playlists area. Again, if I want to add more playlists, just to give you guys a time estimate. So I added five tracks and it took approximately a minute to a minute and a half to do that. I would estimate for every song that you are planning on transferring or offline uh, downloading to your watch, plan 20 to 30 seconds per song. So if you're gonna be doing like 50 or 100 songs, Definitely give yourself some time. The other thing you may want to do is podcasts. And again, on this add music or podcast area under playlists where we were before, if I scroll down, I'll see podcasts. These are podcasts that I have subscribed to on Spotify. And it is going to pull up some of these different podcasts. Uh, one of the quicker ones here is the Tube Buddy Express that I listen to. And if we go into that, let's go ahead and download one of those episodes. So there's a nine minute episode on the list that I'm going to download and add that. So again, it's going to search Wi-Fi networks and we'll fast forward as we download it. So Music Sync is complete. And again, it took about a minute or so to download that nine minute podcast. So allowing yourself several minutes if you are doing longer podcasts that are like a half hour or an hour once you have your music and podcast downloaded, I'm clicking this bottom button to back out. So now I'm back to my podcasts menu. Now I'm back to the add menu, library, and this shows me the two different things that I have downloaded. So the uh, podcast is up top here. My music is on the bottom. I still have these options to add more music, update my downloads, edit downloads, or view settings. So you're going to want to make sure that it makes a full connection onto whatever headphones you have connected. If you are noticing, because I've noticed that if you go to hit the play button and it's not changing to the pause button to play the podcast, that could very well be that for some reason it's not making that connection to your headphones. I was able to just turn my headphones off and back on and that reset the connection and then as you can see there it said connected to those specific headphones. Something else for troubleshooting that I would recommend is that if you are still not getting your headphones connected if you long press this top button that takes you into your menu settings and you go to the power I would recommend powering it off and then powering the smartwatch back on and then trying to reconnect your headphones to see if that will fix the problem. Once you have it powered off, again, if you short press this top button, that will restart your Garmin watch. So from this point, we are playing the podcast episode that I had downloaded. And some of the controls we see here are the forward and back for uh, if you want to skip over. If I click the dots that are at the bottom, this takes me into more information about the podcast. If I click the speaker, I have the options to raise or lower the volume. I can also do that manually on the headphones I am using. I can move back through menus by hitting this bottom right button. So that's gonna take me back here. And then if I wanna access my library, I can just click the library button. Again, I'm back to seeing the things that I have downloaded. If I go to my music, I can see the music that I've downloaded. And again, I have different options. I can play, I can pause this music, I can forward to the next song by doing that. Um, if I click the dots on the bottom, this takes me into more options. So I can shuffle by activating the shuffle that's on the side there. I also have repeat options. So I can click that as well. Now you've got options where you can just repeat the one song, you can repeat the playlist, or you can turn repeat off altogether. This is showing me the song that I'm currently playing. Again, I've got volume controls. I can move back by using this right button. If I move back again, this takes me into the main song options. And then from this point, if I click on if I click on library, I can go back to that main library menu. Some other things to note while I am playing the songs. So as it's progressing through the song, you'll see the green line that's 
progressing along the edges of the screen. You can also tap on the song information and that will tell you uh, where you are as far as how much time is left in the song. This is the same for podcasts as well. The green line represents how far into it you are. And if you tap on the podcast information, you'll also see the amount of time remaining. So one other thing I want to mention is under your library, under Spotify, that's loaded onto your watch. If you scroll down under these tracks and podcasts that are loaded, again, you have that option to add music and podcasts. You can also update downloads. So if you happen to add more songs to your playlist, you can update downloads and then it's going to search your Wi-Fi network to try and make those updates very quickly and easily. Also something to note, if my battery is too low to sync music, and I believe if your watch battery is under 50%, you will not be able to sync any of this music until you plug it into a charger. And lastly, on this menu down here, if we go into edit downloads, we can see the different things downloaded. And if we want to remove them from the watch, I can just click on remove. If I wanted to remove this podcast, I could just click on remove. You can also choose that remove all setting, and then that will go through the process of removing it from your watch. So if you are under music on your Garmin watch and you prefer for some reason to want to use the watch as a remote with your phone, if you're going to take your phone with you for a walk, you'll notice like in this instance, I have a Spotify playlist pulled up on my phone and I'm currently going to play Blinding Lights by the weekend. Uh, on my Garmin watch, if I go under music again by going to settings, um, if I was going to play Spotify right from the watch, I'd choose Spotify. But down here at the bottom, if I choose phone, that now turns this into a remote for my phone. I can see the status of what's happening. So there's a little blue line indicating how far into the song I am. I can also see the time running. But then if I advance to, say, the next track or if I want to pause this, now I'm on this next song. If I look, it has also advanced it on my phone. And take a second right now, if you're learning something or if you are finding this video interesting, smash that like button as it really helps out this video as well as this channel. So next, let's check out using Deezer on our watch. And same thing, you're gonna want to long press, go into your settings. We're gonna install Deezer first. I'm gonna go down to music, music providers and then we'll see Deezer. And again, I've got the free trial of Deezer that I'm using, but you'll need a premium Deezer account. So from this point to connect it to the watch, open up Garmin Connect app to sign in. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my login information for Deezer. So once logged in, it's asking me for permissions. So we're gonna accept. So sign-in process is complete. We're gonna return back to the watch. So I noticed that on my watch, as soon as that's done, it has me uh, in the Deezer app and I can add music, flow, settings. So there's different options here. Let's go ahead and add some music. And again, you are gonna to want to give yourself some time before going for a run or a walk to make sure that this fully loads onto your watch. So I have some lists or songs that are already set up into different playlists that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and download this fun playlist that I have. It's got three songs. It's going to use the Wi-Fi network to try and download them. Battery is too low to sync, so I'm going to plug this in. So we're going to fast through loading music onto the watch. So from this point, my music sync is complete. Um, and again, with Deezer, if you uh, don't currently have the paid edition, um, you can download the Deezer app for free and they give you a trial period. I noticed for some reason on the app, it was only giving me a 30 day trial period. But when I go onto Deezer's website, they actually have a three month trial period. Uh, and again, it's free. I just signed up for it and then set the subscription to cancel after the three months so that I won't get charged. If you're enjoying using Deezer, I suppose you could always continue with the subscription. So from this point, uh, we can go to playlists. So at this point, I've got Crab Rave playing and I've got options where I can advance to the next song. I can pause and play. If I tap the information for the song, it tells me how far into the track I am, as well as we have the blue lines that'll advance around the edges of the screen. Down at the bottom of the screen, you have options here for repeating. You can turn that completely off. You can have it repeat the entire playlist or just repeat the one song. 
So if I click the dots on the bottom of the screen under the song, this takes me into even more options in Deezer. So I can pause and play the song from here. I also have shuffle options. Uh, I can control the volume by clicking on the speaker if I want to raise or lower it. And then if I want to refresh my playlists, say I added some more songs, rearranged, did some of that stuff, I could click the refresh button that's over on the right. If I back out of this song and then go back to music providers and Deezer, again, we had playlists. We can also add more music. We also have flow. So in order to use flow, I need to listen to more music on Deezer, but essentially that's going to create a personalized soundtrack, which is going to include favorites and recommendations based on different content, different music that I have previously listened to. So something else to note, just like with using Spotify, if you want to uh, play Deezer and have it open on your phone, if your phone's going to come with you, or if you're just using it at home and you want to turn your watch into a remote, you go to your settings, find music, go to music providers, and instead of choosing Deezer, again, you'll choose the remote for the phone. And now the music that I'm playing on my phone, I can pause and play and skip tracks and control it all from my Garmin smartwatch. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can also use Prime Music with your watch. Again, we're going to long press, go into settings, go to the gear, and then go down until we see music. Under music, we're going to go to music providers and I have Amazon music installed. So if you don't currently have Amazon music installed, you're going to want to go to your Garmin app in the Garmin app. I'm going to choose my device and then go to music. And if I didn't see Amazon music currently installed here, I can go to get music apps. This actually takes me over to Garmin's other app, which is their IQ store. And then under music, I'll see these different options. I can actually choose Amazon Music. And then from this point, I would install it. So jumping back into the music section under that Garmin app, uh, we click on Amazon Music, and it's not going to let me do anything until I activate stuff on the watch. So we're going to go to the watch, settings, music, and then music providers. We'll see Amazon Music, so I'm going to click on that. And it's starting up and it's telling me to go to this Amazon website and enter this specific code. So after going to that website, what it then did is it had me log into my Amazon account. From this point, it has me registering my device on my phone. So I'm going to enter in the code that it gave me. So from this point, it's telling me uh, Garmin would like to access my Amazon music. So I'm going to allow my registration is now complete. So something just to note, it did take about a minute or so for my watch to realize that I was connected up to Amazon Music. So if you're noticing that it's not updating, now the other thing I did is I went into the Amazon Music app that I have downloaded on my phone. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, you get Amazon Music included with it. Amazon also has their Amazon Music Unlimited. You don't need to be paying for that to take advantage of the Amazon Music. You do have to be paying for Amazon Prime in order to take advantage of the Amazon Music. But you can just download the Amazon Music app, which is also free from your app store. And then it's going to update to a screen very similar to this. Uh, what we can do from this point in the Amazon Music app is I can click on my likes, which are two tracks that I guess I've liked at some point on Amazon. And then again, using the controls, I can see uh, the status with the blue line of where I am in the song, the timing. I can pause, play, and skip to the next song. I also have the dots down here, so I have shuffle options, I have repeat options, and then there's the speaker, and I can click on the speaker to adjust volumes. So from this point, I can click on the Amazon logo. That takes me back to the main screen on my watch. And then I can do things like browse. I can resync to make sure that anything I want downloaded is downloaded. I can edit downloads and go to settings. Let's go to browse. So under Browse, it does give me the option to try Amazon Unlimited. I'm not going to do that right now. I also see My Music, Playlists, Charts, Recommended, New. So let's click on Playlists, because I know I have uh, at least one or two playlists 
set up. Uh, we have moods and activities, genres, the mellow 70s, country heat, the top 50, uh, most played. So you have all different options with those. I'm going to jump back. I think what I actually wanted was my music and under my music, ah, there we go. So I have playlists uh, and I have like fall 2020 and my likes. Uh, fall 2020, I think I have two or three songs in there. So I'm going to click on that and we are going to sync that over Wi-Fi. Okay, so that synced up three tracks and that took again about a minute, minute and a half. I would estimate 20 to 30 seconds per song you are trying to transfer. Make sure you give yourself enough time if you are going to be syncing or downloading uh, lots of tracks on your playlist, 50 songs, 100 songs. Give yourself significant time to let all those download so they're not still trying to download when you go out for your walk or run. So something else to show you guys is with your stuff that's downloaded under browse and sync, you can also go to edit downloads. And from this point, this also gives you an area where you can delete any playlists that you have downloaded, free up more space on your watch. And just like with Spotify and Deezer, you can also use your watch as a remote by going to settings, music, music providers, and then instead of choosing Amazon Music, you can go down to phone. That turns it into a remote, and you'll notice as I advance, it's advancing on my phone as well. So let's talk about putting music that you own or MP3 files that you have of music that you would like to listen to uh, without needing your phone and directly download those to your Garmin watch. What we are gonna do from this point is uh, install a piece of software that you need to communicate with your Garmin watch. That is going to be Garmin Express. So you're gonna to wanna to go to garmin.com forward slash express, and then it actually takes you to this uh, link here. But uh, there'll also be a link down in the description where you can just click over to this website. You are going to download from this point the Garmin Express software, and you can do this for Windows or Mac. I'm going to be downloading this for Windows. The software downloaded, I'm going to double click and go through the installation prompts to install it, and we're going to let this finish installing. Once it's successfully installed, I'm going to launch. Now once you get to this point, you are going to add your device, and in order to add your device, you are going to need the charging cable that came with the Garmin watch, and you are going to plug in your watch to your laptop computer. From this point, my computer recognizes that I've plugged in the uh, Venue SQ, and I'm going to go to add a device. It's going to search for that device, and now it has found that device. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Add Device. And from this point, I'm going to sign in to my Garmin Connect account, and this is going to be the same account that you would use uh, when you were creating your account to work with uh, setting up your Garmin smartwatch. So once I'm signed in, it has me go through setting prompts, and we're just going to keep it nicknamed uh, Venue SQ. You can see my Wi-Fi network, and then it's going to finish setting up my device. So from this point inside the Garmin Express app, we are going to go to the Manage Music section. So from this point, we can see all the music that is uh, going to be selected from this computer. And then I can also see all the music that's going to be on my Venue SQ. To add music, to have it search this computer, I'm going to click this plus button. And then I'm going to select folders that I want it to scan. You can see all the different compatible media formats. So if you've got MP4s, MP3s, WAV files, it can read all of those. So now under my computer, I'm going to locate where I have my music files stored. If you're going to have it scan your whole computer, it's going to take a long time. I would suggest putting your music in just one folder. And by default, it actually selects my downloads and music folder. So if that's where you have your music stored, perfect. So from this point, you can choose by artists, albums, songs, and this is all going to work with the tags of your music files, the mp3s, and I have this specific folder with a bunch of songs in it, so we are going to go ahead and select all of these songs in here. I can do that by just clicking this checkbox up top, or I could individually uh, choose songs, and then from this point I can send them to my device. So it's going to send these six files and give me an estimate of time. This goes much quicker than trying to download over Wi-Fi with Spotify and Deezer and Amazon Music. 
transfer is complete. The other thing to note is that down here you can see all the information that's on your Garmin smartwatch. So you can see the capacity, my music, music from other apps, and how much free space is left. So that is also very useful. Um, as far as the amount of space you get, so you have roughly 3.6 gigs or 3.7 gigs worth of space on your Garmin Venue SQ that you can load music onto it. And just to give you a quick estimate from these different songs, so the average size of my songs here is somewhere around 5 to 10 uh, megabytes per song. This really large one here is actually a podcast, which I'm also loading onto the watch, which we will check out as well. So with music loaded onto the watch, let's go into the music section again by going to settings, my gear, and then go ahead and click down to music. We're gonna go to music providers, but this time we are going to my music, which is up top. And I've got options here where I can play all songs, playlists, artists, albums, song, genres, podcasts, and even audiobooks. So from this point, let's go to uh, song. Well, let's go to play all songs. And it is going to connect to my headphones. And we can see right off the bat that it starts playing the first song that it can find. Uh, we have control options here where we can uh, pause and play songs. Let's jump back to the music there now playing. So I can see all of the different songs that are available to play. Let's jump back to the current song that is playing. I can pause it. I can play it. I can skip to the next song. I can go back. I've got shuffle options where no shuffle or I can have it shuffling. If I tap on the information about the song, you'll see that it displays the amount of time. We get the blue bar going around the edge of the screen, indicating the progress through the song. If I click on the dots that are on the bottom, uh, that takes me to more options where I can go to the speakers and then control the sound level. I'm clicking this bottom right button to go back on screens as well. I can click the uh, name of the song. Actually, clicking the name of the song doesn't do anything, but if I click the music again, that takes me back to my music library, and I can click on Now Playing. We could see all these different songs, so if I just wanted to jump all the way down here to this last song, I could do that from that point. Let's go back to the library. So again, clicking this music note up top. Music library, I can play all songs, playlists, artists, albums, uh, I downloaded a podcast that I had, and this is the podcast episode, Clark Howard, who has a great podcast on uh, saving you money and more things. Um, we can go ahead and click into that, and this gives me all the information about the podcast episode, and then I can go ahead and have all those controls to pause it, um, play it. If I click into... The dots here, that also gives me an option where I can go back 30 seconds, whereas uh, from that last screen, if I click the back button, this only gives you the advance. If you missed something in the podcast and you wanted to listen to it again, you click those dots and that gives you the option where you can go back 30 seconds. So I'm interested to know what you guys think about all the music capabilities of this watch. I definitely think that Garmin has an edge over some of the other wearables where they are still allowing you to download music directly to the watch. I think using the software, it's very easy, quick, convenient. I think all the different apps work very well on this smartwatch. I very much enjoy Spotify being able to download different playlists right to the watch quickly go out for a run and enjoy a bunch of music and not have to take my phone with me. So let me know your thoughts or if you've got other questions down in the comments section below. I love reading those. So I've also done an unboxing and a setup video of this Venu SQ and if you want to check that out there'll be a link down in the description below. And this watch is very similar to the uh, Fitbit Versa 3 as well as the Sense. I've also done reviews on those as well. Links down in the description below. My name is Jeff. As always I appreciate Appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video.